Hey guys, this is Zoheb Hassan and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create volumetric light using trap cord shine and uh, this is what we're going to be creating. Looking nice, huh? So without wasting any more time let's get started i have loaded this model here and uh, let's go into scene setup and you can see nothing fancy here uh, just loaded a model and uh, changed the map here okay cool let's click okay I have created this camera and a uh, subtle animation here nothing fancy so I have also created a parallel light okay and an ambient light with the value of 8 in the pedal has 200 let's create an adjustment layer and apply trap core shine okay now we need to create an omni light uh, a point light and we name it shine and uh, intensity to zero is, is fine okay now in shine let's change the source type to 3d light and it will apply to the point light as you can see if I change the direction of light I'm already getting these beautiful shine effects and rays through the leaves let's change the z-axis and y-axis as well of the light and uh, let's see how does it look now let me change its position a little more like here okay now let's go to colorize and uh, select color one and change that color to light yellow okay now let's increase the ray length and add a little shimmer as well increase the value and see the changes add some details and click on source point effect shimmer what this will do as you can see that shimmer effect of rays also animates maybe we can change the position a little bit more yeah here looks better okay in the shine options let's boost light to around one and uh, this is looking cool 
okay now let's go into element 3d render settings let's turn on shadows A enable the shadows and uh, also enable subsurface scattering okay for subsurface i actually enabled subsurface from here and uh, changed the scatter color to light orange click ok and now if we increase the subsurface scattering intensity you can see this is a little too much 25 or 20 is looking nice okay now let's add some fog enable fog and uh, fog start distance set to 2500 maybe or 2700 maybe and uh, set fog opacity to your taste now let's turn the sampling on and uh, enhance multi sampling as well and uh, render more to full render to see how does it look now and to create cinematic looks i use mojo 2 by R red giant it is a really really cool plugin and uh, let's play with the values maybe punch the scene bleach or fade the blacks add a little more vignette okay cool and i use film convert pro to add grains so now if you see our scene is looking really good with nice shadows and with nice rays let's add some depth of field i have set aperture value to 250 and focus to 2700 and now let's do a quick render all right guys thanks for tuning in i hope you learned something this is zuhaib and i'll see you in the next one